this is Jim Brady from DSD and Terms on Time. Welcome to the second part of our demo of Terms on Time for Sage 100 ERP. In the last demo, we showed how to specify which customers you wanted to invoice and get reminders from Terms on Time. In this video, I'll show how easy it is to send out invoices from right within your current workflow. We'll send an invoice to Monarch Beverage, the customer we added to be invoiced through Terms on Time. I'll start the process by first creating an invoice from accounts receivable using invoice data entry. The process works the same whether you use this method or another method to create an invoice such as sales order. Okay, let's quickly create an invoice for Monarch Beverage. First we'll set the batch number, batch number three. Second, we'll set the invoice number, pick the customer, Monarch Beverage. We'll add a couple of line items for Monarch's invoice. I'm going to adjust the price. And accept it. Okay, now that the invoice is created, at the time that we commit the sales journal, the invoice will get uploaded to Terms on Time. I'll show you that next. Okay, let's send the invoice. I'm going to go to the sales journal. I'm going to pick batch number three. And then I'm just going to go through the process of committing the journal. Okay, now I'm going to update the sales journal. And once that's done, I receive a prompt asking me if I want to upload invoices to Terms on Time. This will only send invoices for customers in the batch who I set to be sent reminders from Terms on Time. And that's it. We're all done. The customer received an invoice email. In our next demo video, I'll show the email that the customer receives and the experience that they have if they decide to pay their invoice online. I'll also show the reminders that they get if they take no action after receiving their invoice. Thanks for watching. <laughs>